NFL Head Coach 09 Episode 10 is here, and this is the long-awaited episode where we're going to face off with the Miami Dolphins. Those of you that have watched from the very beginning know that's where this series began. It was going to be a big Dolphin rebuild, and it only lasted a year's time. A year that saw us go 1-15, win our very last game of the season, and then... Harley Jean Charles, our head coach, was fired. Not given a second chance with a new quarterback and some new draft picks. Instead, we end up getting hired by the Falcons, who already had Matt Ryan and a top five pick. So I feel like it's worked out really well for us. But still, Miami fired me after one game, or one season, and after a win. So now it's time to get a little revenge. Currently, 11 games into the year, approval is a lot higher than I expected at 92. 97 for the owner, which is phenomenal. The fans, though, at 86, gotta work on that. We lost the uh, game to the Bucks last episode. That kind of hurt a little bit. But now we have five games left to go. We have Miami here at four and seven. We are five and six. And to get this game, Fully prepared, we are going to make a couple plays to unleash against the Dolphins' defense. Alright, so the first play we're making here is the Waddle Wheel. So this play is going to feature Demario Waddle playing running back, and he's going to run a wheel to the left. He doesn't even get outside the numbers, but it can still be kind of useful. So what we're going to do then, Roddy White's going to run a post. All right, version four now. Should be a good quick out here from Ben Watson. And there you go. That's what I want to manipulate right there. This is going to be Demario Waddle. And by the way, I really want to get Waddle a lot more touches. I, I want him to at least average a couple a game, and I think right now he's like averaging .5. So we're going to step up our play calling, I think, for Waddle. There you go. Now we have the Waddle Flood as well. Alright, so just a few days until our game against Miami. And we're going to find out the status of Matt Ryan here pretty soon. Is he ready to go or not? Four to nine days. So, the chances aren't great, but there are five days until the game. So I guess it's possible. Here's a look at Waddle's numbers, though, on the season. I want him to have more catches on offense than defense, I think. Although he's at 8 on defense. Waddle currently has 4 catches, 53 yards receiving on the season. To go with 2 carries for minus 1 yard. The big story, though, has been his interceptions and the 7 for carry Rhodes. You gotta think we can intercept Mike Zizaley at least once tonight. One of those two is getting a pick. I'll be shocked if it doesn't happen. Matt Ryan currently out one to three days. It's currently game day here on Sunday. Matt Ryan, 86% health, 61% torso. I don't think it's a great idea to rush him back from this injury. Although, there's a chance he might be able to play this week. Now, the Dolphins have four wins on the season. Three more than they had all of last year. Mike Zizaley is already an 87 overall, and he was their number one pick. Zizaley has 19 touchdowns and six interceptions, and he seems to be having a really good year. He has been sacked 48 times, though, so hopefully we can rattle him and get some pressure. Zizaley has 95 yards rushing as well. Now, Ronnie Brown, is he hurt? He's had a really good season for them, but he's at 63% health. I'll have to check the inactives because he may not play, which would mean Derek Ward and Andre Kirby would become the running backs today. At receiver, Chris Henry, 1,000 yards on the year. Ted Ginn, Dorian Bryant, Mike Furry. Ben Troop at tight end. Now, this Dolphins team, I think, had a pretty good offensive line. They return, I think, most of the same starters. So, that'll be an interesting battle. Can we... Match up with them. Pat Williams, he is currently hurt. Vonnie Holiday is currently hurt. Matt Roth is currently hurt. Kendall Langford is hurt. 
What is up with this team and all these injuries? I'll have to check out these inactives. All right, Matt Ryan, it currently has him as injured, and uh, he will not play today. I wonder if that is set automatically because of my, like, uh, philosophy? All right, we've set our inactives. Nothing too surprising, but how about the Miami Dolphins? Who's not going to play? Wow, they must have a lot of players playing through injury right now because those are not their high-rated players at all. Ronnie Brown is active for this week. But he's going to be playing at 63% health. 42% on his left leg. Now, does that have any kind of rating effect? Or is it just kind of injury risk? Does he still have his 93 speed despite that? So it sure seems like this is a team that's playing a ton of players through injury. Pat Williams, 66 overall. That seems awful low for him. But he also has uh, an injury he's battling through right now. 31% health, 1% left leg. What is this team doing? This is it, everybody. Welcome to Atlanta. Dolphins and Falcons, the meeting is finally here. Our chance at revenge after being fired an offseason ago. Now, I think it's worked out. But still, I don't like how they handled that whole situation. I never got a chance to draft anybody. I had to deal with their terrible roster. All right, let's kick it up the middle. That's okay. I'm much happier with the Falcons. Welcome, everybody! Dolphins, Falcons were underway. Miami's getting the football first. Up across the 25, and they'll begin at their 28. And we're underway, wearing the old red alternates. Are these even in Madden? Dolphins began a quick snap here and a run to the outside. Ronnie Brown, wrapped up by Demario Waddle. And I wonder, you know, what happens with all these players playing through injury. I think that there's probably a chance that a lot of these injuries are aggravated. We'll have to see. Because I saw some of their health percentages and I would not want my players playing through them. Three wide here for Mike Zizaley and a second. Nope, it's a fake. And Zizaley's a lefty! He's got his man. That's a fumble! And we got it! Please let this stand! Two plays in, let's get the takeaway. Come on. And maybe it is going to be challenged after all. I think the ball was coming out. Of course, I'm not biased at all. Does this really give us a clear 100% idea? Alright, I guess he was down. Dolphins already across midfield after that big play action pass. Zazaley hands it again. Stiff form from Ronnie Brown. And then wrapped up. Dino Peters, that's right. Dino Peters is 91. Riggs is 61. And Dino seems to be playing pretty well when he's on the field. Another stretcher. They want to get outside. Nice hit! That's what I'm talking about. Carry Rhodes. Alright, they have subbed Ronnie Brown. I forget who their backup is. Why is our corner over here covering nobody? There we go. Zazaley, third and six. Got time. Outside with it! What a catch by Ted Ginn! Settle down, guys. He's out of bounds here. inside the 20. Ronnie Brown returns to the game. So, Ted Ginn will not see you waddle. Nice hit. Well played. Ty Law versus Ted Ginn. That seems like a pretty bad matchup considering Ginn's speed. Now, Chris Henry has over a thousand yards. He's their number one. Obviously, Waddle's going to cover him. But it makes you wonder if this is a game where Ty Law needs to just go to the slot and not do anything else. If Ted Ginn's going to be out there. I'll have to check our depth chart, see what we can do. Play fake over the middle, and that's complete. Tackled by Waddle. You guys have been trying to get rid of Ty Law all season. He's a good player. Not as good as Demario Waddle, but still a good player. 
Let's see. This might be a job for Chris Houston here on the outside against um, Ted Ginn Jr. Does he have more speed? He has more man-to-man -man ability and 96 speed. So, yes. We will no longer see the matchup there with Ginn. Ty Law plays the slot. Dolphins go three wide here from the 11. And they motion out Ronnie Brown. Zazali. End zone. Touchdown. Ronnie Brown. Was that a wheel route? Can't really see a better camera angle. They just call what we made before this game. So we begin our offensive day, and we get to the outside here in a hurry. Michael Turner rumbling through defenders on his way to a gain of nine. Now, Michael Turner's resurgence has been a lot of fun. He's been running really well the last couple episodes. I want to make sure I start running to the left a little bit more and stop just playing the entire game on the right hash. I want to call more of these counters as well. Especially here against this look, I like our chances. Turner out to the left-hand side, has good blocking. Across the 45, bounces it wide! Turner! Out of bounds at the 37-yard line! Time, yes, sub him out. One inch at a time. As a matter of fact, everybody, I want to sub him out. And we are going to put in at running back to Mario Waddle. Another run to start the day. Demario Waddle wrapped up. All right, Turner back in after one playoff, and we're going to throw it for the first time. Blitz sent by Miami. Time here for A.J. Feely, a defender right at his feet, and that was way too risky. Right away. Right, Opening guys. drive, everybody. It's the Waddle wheel. It's not time for Waddle fade. It's time for Waddle wheel. Two deep safeties here for Miami in their nickel defense. Third and seven. Feely completes it. A couple a yards shy of the sticks. Like All right, everybody. I know a lot of people are going to want me to go for this, but I have to know where I can trust Matt Prater Kick here. It's a 49-yard try. Let's try to get some points here. 49 yards. Left hash. Prater's kick. Is right down the middle. Good job. 7-3. You know what? Call whatever you want. I'm making a substitution. I want to get Artis Drexler a few more snaps. I feel that we are in need of a boost here at Edge Rusher. Although, I'm not sure you can expect much in this matchup. Because it's going to be Artis Drexler versus Jake Long. And this is prime young Jake Long. And notice how far I had to scroll here to get Drexler onto the field. Now Riggs is out there right now. And the Dolphins open this drive. Play fake. Zazali's got all day. And he somehow completes it. Why was that not picked off? Waddle is a 70 end. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say he's going to line up at edge anytime soon. That really should have been a big pick six. Nate Bell or Waddle? Don't make me decide between the two. Although Nate Bell did it for multiple years. Hand off. Swarm. Let's go. And who made the tackle, yeah, everybody? Like that, Dino like Peters. I kind of want to create some pressure here. I feel like I have to look for chances to blitz this team on third down, and I think third and seven right here is it. So we're bringing pressure, and I don't think they're going to have more than five blocking. This could be really good or really bad. Third and seven. Zazali complete. I think it was a good call. They just made a play. That's the whole idea. Force them to make a really good play on a quick decision. We're not running very much too deep safety given how good Demario Waddle is. He's lined up on the inside here on first and 10. Again, trying to get outside and there's just no chance. I love what our linebackers are doing. Second down and 14 now for Zazali. As we get nowhere close to him, and he completes for a first down. Guys, that's not what I wanted. I got some really big concerns about our pass rush today. We'll try the stretch. Wow! Linebackers are just playing perfect today. 
I'm not blitzing this time, but we are going man to man. Empty set here for the Dolphins as we send four. Zazali completes it and can't make the play in time. This could have been very different if I was never fired because I likely would have taken Mike Zazali number one and we would have had this same offensive line. We would have had Ronnie Brown. We would have had Ted Ginn. So it's kind of a look at what we could have done. Miami spreads out the defense and now they motion out Ronnie Brown into the slot. Zazali all day. Zazali completes it. Ronnie Brown to the one. Man. They have completed all these close calls and coverage. This is not good, everybody. Miami running it. Wow, a fumble, and we got it. Don't be a safety. We got it at the three. What a play. Wow. All right, down four, we take over. Running it. Michael Turner, quick cut to the outside. And he's going to pick up around two. We're going to put in Demario Waddle here. Actually, his fatigue's at 74, not this spot. Take it outside the tackle. But I wanted to run the stretch here. It's not time for Waddle fade. We're gonna run the stretch now. Here's Norwood, what a hit! Come on. That's not we what I some. wanted. All right, trying to do something now with this takeaway. Gotta convert the third and five. Pressure in the face of Feely, who completes it for a first to Ben All Watson. Right. It's too early for Waddle Fade. It's not the right time. First and 17 now from the 7. Trying to get some more room again. And Feely has the underneath crossing pattern to Roddy White. Who is brought down after a good pickup. We're throwing again here on second down. Wide open. That's easy. Come on. First down Roddy White. So we recover from first and 17. And good to get Roddy White involved too. Feely, this time the underneath routes are covered. He's got to make a decision. And he finally does finding Roddy White. First down. Demario Waddle is back in the game, everybody. Here's a halfback draw. Hopefully give him a little space here if the linebackers don't read it right away. Get some second level blocks and let's have a party. Waddle. Well, when they shed the block like that, that's what happens. I should be very careful about doing stuff like this, though, because... If I got him injured on an inside run, that's obviously a very bad deal. On the counter now, we have Michael Turner. A nice block on the outside, too, and Turner picks up another big pickup. 12 yards this time. Back to pass again here, A.J. Feely. Uh-oh, now they got the pressure. What was that? Wow. I, need to see it again. I was about to say, neither team has created much, but I guess that just changed. All right, two minutes to go here in the first half. Not trying to recover from second and 18. The check down, wow, what a hit. We have called the Waddle flood play now. This play is designed to go to the right side. Waddle's going to be on the deep out. He's going to be open. He slipped. And Feely throws it a bit late and got him. But he's not there for the first down. Big catch by Demario Waddle, but do we uh, kick another field goal here to go possibly down one? Got a whole half of football, get the ball after halftime, right, but we cannot have this missed by Matt Prater. 45-yard try. Prater again hits it. 7-6 Miami. The Dolphins begin this two-minute drill, and right away they go down the middle. Zazali. We got to make a play on that one. We had a chance. Here's Azalee again. Oh, he got it. That's not good. Inside the 30. Man, Zazali is just surgical. I can't let Zazali just stand there in the clean pocket and make big throws all day. We got to bring pressure a lot more in this game. They're going to run this. Surprisingly. And Ronnie Brown made a man miss. He's on the outside. Ronnie Brown broke a tackle and he's out of bounds at the seven. First and goal from the seven. Zazali in the corner. It's a catch. Touchdown. Wow. Zazali just can't make a mistake. 
Everything that's been contested has gone their way. So I settle for these field goals in the first half. I'm not sure I can do the same in the second. Not with the way our defense is playing. We are getting the football after halftime, but it feels like we're playing with very little room for error right now. Jarius Norwood, by the way, picks up the way eight. I don't think Demario Waddle's actually on the field right now, as the catch is made, but we're out of timeouts, so the half is over. The half. Moved the ball pretty well in that first half, but we got to finish drives and somehow find a way to get some stops. It is 14 to 6 to begin this half, and we're going back to the running game. Demario Waddle is upended. Third and eight now for Feely. Wow, open. Catch made, Roddy White. Great job that time by the O-line. Love it. And now trying to mix up the running a little bit. Norwood to the outside. Turner inside. Might call more of those counters. They seem to work out fairly well. Uh-oh. Nowhere to go here. Big loss. I'm going waddle wheel. I think this play could certainly work here. And if we only get like eight yards or so, I might have to start going for it already. So third down and 11. Big play for A.J. Feely. And Waddle has it. And that's very close to a first down. Uh, it's fourth and inches. There. Yeah, we're obviously going for this one here. QB sneak. Hopefully A.J. Feely just goes to the right of his center here. Feely up the middle. Don't fumble too. That's the next part of it. But it sure would be nice to not have to rely so much on... Uh, the passes on third down and everything. Let's get back to this ground and pound approach. Turner gets the carry once again. Tries to redirect and he is hit down after a short pickup. All right, why sit here has been a money play for us this year. Really good to get Ben Watts in these quick gains. So here's AJ Feely. Wide open underneath, easy. Way too easy. Good cut inside, extra yardage now inside the 20. Martrez Milner indeed, 20 yards on that catch and run. On the counter, uh oh, a fumble! Miami, I think they have it! Tell him he's gotta have some no! Dolphins take run. over, Turner coughed up the football. I can't believe it. Play fakes Zazali, good coverage though. He throws off the mark. Of course, the one time he misses. An accurate throw could have been a pick six. Here's Zazali dropping back on second down. He takes a shot down field. It's broken up. Demario Waddle got his hands on that one. Defining moment. It's third down. Oh, you know we're blitzing. We're going to bring the pressure, but please allow me to call the right play. Not gaps fire. Not weak side surprise. I don't want any of these plays. I want my double A gap blitz that I made. I guess strong safety blitz would get the job done. The play art looks a little strange there. But we're indeed going to bring some pressure here. Third and ten. Let's get off the field here. Empty set again for the Dolphins. Falcons trying to pick up the stop. We bring pressure. Zazali wide open. Hey, I need another look at what happened there. We're going to do a lot of these man blitzes, though, going forward on early downs, especially with how much play action they love to run. Now it's the stretch to Brown. What a hit! Those one-on-ones in space are so key. All right, man coverage this time, but we're bringing five. Mario Waddle, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Let's go. Come on, we got to take the football there. Kerry Rhodes going to grab the football and ran for a touchdown. Wow, got to go outside with it. Here's Turner, able to separate and make a move. Wow. Turner has been really good at bouncing runs today. I thought he was going to lose like four yards. I think Turner's playing really well. It's just he had that unfortunate fumble. 14-6. Norwood checks in now. His turn to carry. Trying to cut outside. Nowhere to go. Going back to the air on second and 10. Tight ends open. Tight ends open. Feely never saw him and settles underneath. Come on, Feely. You have been so good at reading the field for the most part. 
We're going back to our custom plays here and levels. Trying to just utilize our tight ends in the middle of the field where they're usually very reliable. Roddy White lines up on the right side. Here's A.J. Feely. He goes over the middle. Nice throw. He did not settle for the crossing nice pattern like I thought he nice might. Job. He made the throw. All I want to do on first down is run the football, obviously, but it really hasn't been as successful as I thought it would, especially against uh, their defensive tackles who are hurt. Here is Turner to the edge, getting us four yards. Ten seconds to go in the third quarter here. And we're throwing on second down. That's wide open. Easy. Catch and run. Martrez Milner. Let's go to the fourth quarter, everybody. It's crunch time. Fourth quarter underway now. And here's Turner upended. Wow, they're getting aggressive. Loss of three. Five-man rush. Feely's got time. Going long. It is intercepted. Wow, he threw it to the right side on that play. I thought he'd throw it on the deep in. He throws the post. Feely, no. They are going play action again. Zazeli outside. What a throw. Are you serious? I wish that those first down runs had been more successful. It's forced us to throw the football a lot more than I wanted. A run to the right here. Brown hit for a loss. Actually, solid, he fell ahead, but a good play. Let me, uh, can I do an adjustment quick? Do I have time for press? Too late. And they're going play action. Zazeli dumps it. Nice stop. That's back-to-back -back stops now we've created. We should see more sacks. Still in it. We got Jarius Norwood in the ball game on the stretch. Wow. We had a blocker on him, too. He didn't care. Could be Roddy White here on the drag route. Roddy White makes the catch. Gets up field. White has the first down. Really good pick up here. That was uh, an interesting play. Wait a minute. No. Where did that come from? Atlanta, yes, we're 5-6 and six on the season. Trying to keep our playoff hopes alive. AJ Feely got a man open. He threw it underneath, though. Oh, good catch and run. Not bad, Watson. First down, Atlanta. Four and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. It's open, Feely. Or it was. I don't know what Watson's doing now. Feely. That was the strangest play as Watson's upended. Second down and two. Again, we're throwing it. Feely. Uh-oh. This ain't good. He fires late and is nearly picked off. It's third and two. Turner the back. He gets it. Wow. Wow. Loss of four. How are they doing this? Come on, fourth and six. We got to make a play here, Feely. He fires, and it's incomplete. I'm not sure if that was a drop. It was close. The Dolphins take over. What's Waddle's throw power? Uh, we're not going to see Waddle play quarterback. But man, we are missing Matt Ryan right now. Second and 10, Zazali. It's dropped. It's third and 10, Dolphins. We'll have to see what they attempt. Ronnie Brown, the deep back. They do run to the right side. And what a hit! That's a fumble! And the Falcons recover! We got the football, everybody! Wow! Another chance for the offense! I can't believe we get another chance. Three and a half minutes to go. Coverage is tight and Feely sacked! For a loss of four. Oh, come on. The defense has been so good in this half and we're wasting it. Second down and 14. Feely's got time. Feely, what are you going to do? He fires! Intercepted! And this is going to the 31-yard line. Why the heck we're throwing like high school kids? What happened to A.J. Feely? 
Three minutes to go. They're in field goal range. And Ronnie Brown gets them even closer. 2.43 left to go. We're going to keep blitzing. As they run this with Ronnie Brown, he finds a hole and picks up the first down. That'll take us to the warning. Why'd they snap the football like that? Here's Zazaley over the middle! And it's goal to go, Dolphins. Oh, come on, defense. I didn't want to call Waddle Fade because I didn't really trust Feely on it. But I guess he couldn't do the other stuff either. Oh, a broken tackle and a touchdown. That should put That's this game away, basically. Touchdown, Dolphins. All right. Demario Waddles in at quarterback. We are officially out of ideas. But we have the quarterback sweep we can call. And Waddle's going to keep it running right. And Waddle is wrapped up after no gain. Come on, head coach. I think it just froze on me. And this game doesn't run very well. Is that really how this is going to end? So what I'll do then is I'll get back into head coach and I will uh, I'll simulate past this game, but I'm going to make sure that we sim it till we lose because I'm not calling it a second chance. We're not going to redo the game. We lost. All right, we lost on the first try here and approval dropped by 10. All right, so here is the statistical ending. 30 to 7. You know what? That fit the game, and AJ Feely throwing four picks also fit what happened. It wasn't quite that bad, but this is close enough. AJ Feely is a backup quarterback, and he will resume backup duties as soon as possible. Michael Turner, 24 yards and a touchdown. Roddy White, seven catches. Ronnie Brown had a huge day when he didn't when we were playing, but oh well. Just the way it goes. Big win for the Dolphins. We're now 5-7. and seven, And we have an injury. What's up here with Ty Law? Bruised hip out 6-12 to 12 weeks. Ty Law will go on injured reserve now. Let's check out our injury report. Injuries have been really difficult this season. I'm surprised we have five wins already, despite them. So Ty Law is out for the year. Nicholas is out for the year. John Abraham was hurt very early on this season, but now Matt Ryan is no longer on the injury report, so he is back. Here's a new look at approval. Owner now at 70 or at 90. 87 approval though. I feel good about that, but we still got to finish the year without just losing a bunch of games. So hopefully 7 and 9, 8 and 8 is the worst we do. You know, it's signed Zach Bowman. But I think Chris Houston's going to be our number 2 corner. His zone was a 44? Really? Zach Bowman, 94 speed, decent awareness. His zone is indeed 44. Okay, that's actually too low. We're reconsidering. He's got 80 press. Alright, we're going to sign Dewan Tribble instead. He'll be a better fit. Was really hoping we could have a really fun game though and destroy Miami and get a big win, but... Ah, Zazali, man, he was really, really good. You know, I want to check the depth chart quick for something. Because I'd like for Waddle to get some catches when we're actually in the simulating. And he is the number five receiver. Alright, let's try Waddle then at number three receiver. See if that gets him a little extra. Are we re-signing AJ Feely? What does AJ Feely want? 32 years old, 72 overall. What do you say we sign him here? Let's get this over with, coach. I have places to be. Yeah, watching film of those four interceptions you threw. How about that? That's what you should be spending your time doing. We're done here. While we're at it here, why don't we check out the NFC standings? Five and seven. You're not really thinking about the playoffs, but it's still like you're at the end of those graphics. 
for the games, like, in the hunt, but you're, like, the last team with 2% odds. So, there are plenty of teams ahead of us in the standings. Look at the Buccaneers in the south, got the Giants in the east, Rams in the west. Somehow, St. Louis is western portion of the country, and Green Bay in the north. So, then for wild cards, you got absolutely no chance for us, honestly. Five and seven, our season's over. Alright, Feely's going to sit this one out. He's inactive this week. Hayward is going to be active, actually. Alright, everybody, we have the Buffalo Bills this week. Can we avoid falling to 5-8 and eight on the season? It's a big one. And we have lost another game and 6 approval with it. Matt Ryan did indeed return, but 30-6 to six is the score. Ryan did not play well in his return. Wow. Not at all. Waddle had two catches. Drexler, did he have a sack? Okay. What happened now? Is it the run defense again? Trent Edwards, by the way, got the victory. And yes, Marshawn Lynch and Fred Jackson combined for 187. Run defense. Major, major problems with that this season. I'll sim one more tonight. We'll finish up the season then next time. I need to get some time though off stream to take a look at the roster and to get kind of a plan together. Because like we're timed here and I just haven't had the chance to really sit down and take a few notes and just get things organized the way I want them. So we'll do one more stream to close out the year and get a, a plan for the off season. We might even do a little bit of the offseason next stream. Because I know that the offseason is going to be in multiple parts anyway. So uh, the next stream I do is probably going to be like end of the year and then beginning of the offseason. Yeah, for the first round, I'm still not quite sure. I have to take a look at uh, the roster, who's young, whose contracts are up. There's just so many things that I, I don't want to rush into. So, I want to make sure that we get Drexler some more chances here down the stretch to play. Not sure if this can, like, really help his overall quickly or anything, but let's get him some snaps. He has 70 potential. Hopefully, he knows some of the playbook. I guess that is uh, a big question. He has some of it. Just go get the quarterback on every play. Maybe we'll even just super sim next episode and focus more on the offseason. Depends what you guys want to see. But we're finishing tonight's episode with a 5-9 record. So approval is still in an okay spot, but this is not what I had in mind. We lost in overtime. Two touchdowns for Matt Ryan. 233 yards. So at least he played a bit better. A touchdown for Roddy White. A touchdown for Harry Douglas. Any more interceptions? Coleman got one. Drexler got another sack. Now, how about the Cowboys? How'd they play? Tony Romo, 400 yards. Come on. They didn't run the ball quite as much, but they still had 75 yards and two touchdowns from Marion Barber. Terrell Owens! No! That would be against Waddle! Every cornerback has a bad game every now and then, right? 15 for a buck 97 and two scores. Wow. Patrick Creighton. I haven't heard that name in a while. Great. Our next game is against Tampa. That is going to be next episode, everybody. Unfortunately, we could not get things moving in the right direction tonight. We have uh, Matt Ryan. Being very inconsistent throughout the season. But it is his first year in my weird system on offense. So maybe next year it'll be a little bit better. Michael Turner now 8 touchdowns on the season. Ben Watson approaches 1,000 yards. 17 drops though, seriously? No more interceptions today for our star players. So Waddle is still at 8. He has 1 touchdown scored. 
He has allowed three touchdowns on the year. I believe he just allowed two to Terrell Owens. And kicking. How's that going? Matt Prater. Where's Matt Prater? Oh, there he is. Seven for ten. One was blocked. Ten for ten on extra points, though. And as a quick uh, reminder on our goals... Don't think we're winning offensive rookie of the year. Maybe defensive. I don't want to fire the GM, so that's going to cost us some um, media approval. The fans want a college coach. I don't know. Can I just sign a, a quarterback coach and make him happy? We'll see. I want to achieve this one, though. And we are riding the line here at 78 approval. I think to get it done, we're going to have to probably win these last two games. So next time we will find out how we do and we'll start getting into the offseason as well. It'll be kind of a hybrid episode because the off seasons are so big and take so much time. It'll be split up a little bit. But that is going to do it for this episode, everybody. A tough one here for the Atlanta Falcons. But I think we all knew this was going to be a challenging season and we've had some successes along the way. We'll go from there next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and I'll be back again soon.